Question. DS, if A is greater than 0, is A cubed times B to the power of 5 greater than 0? Condition 1. A squared times B is greater than 0. Condition 2. B is greater than 0. Solution. Let us solve this DS question using the variable approach. Follow the first step of the variable approach by modifying and rechecking the original condition and the question. We are required to verify whether a cubed times b to the power of 5 is greater than 0 if a is greater than 0. These types of questions appear in the exam often. The answer is d because condition 1 equal to condition 2 based on the modification, which is the first step of the variable approach. Now, by the property that only odd exponents remain, a cubed times b to the power of 5 is greater than 0 becomes a times b is greater than 0. As we are given a is greater than 0, the question becomes whether b is greater than 0. Let us take a look at condition 2. It tells us that b is greater than 0. We had modified our question to, is b greater than 0? The answer is a unique yes, so the condition is sufficient according to CMT1, which states that the answer will be in terms of a unique yes or no. Condition 1 tells us that a squared times b is greater than 0. Since only the odd exponents remain, a squared times b is greater than 0 becomes b is greater than 0. Thus, the answer to the question, is b greater than 0, is a unique yes. So the condition is sufficient according to CMT1, which states that the answer will be in terms of a unique yes or no. Also, according to tip 1, it is about 95% likely that D would be the answer when the value of condition 1 is equal to the value of condition 2, that is, condition 1 equal to condition 2. Each condition alone is sufficient. Thus, D is the correct answer. Answer D.